All right, I'm going to show you how to add a folder and then move things around in those folders. So add folder at the very top. You can choose a color, right? And I'm going to say um, these were materials. I have a lot of materials created for uh, videos. All right, so I can add a description. Uh, the downside of the description, um, it does make the folder description long so that it's not compact on the space. You can add clickable links and everything from the description up here. You can add images. However, again, it does make the folder very long uh, from the outside. So I tend to just like a short description, old um, materials used in videos. I'm just going to have a short uh, description. I can make it published or unpublished or published on a specific date okay, or during a date range. And I'm going to create this folder. Okay, By default, it's going to be created at the bottom. Okay, If I wanted to not have to scroll and I wanted to create it immediately at the top, I'm going to hold for a minute up here and you see this green um, plus that shows up. If I click that green plus, I get this add folder. I'm going to add this in orange just so you can see old materials. And I just want to show you for this one, I'm not going to type a lot of text. I'm just going to type a bunch of periods imagining I have this much description. Okay. So when I create this folder, there's the super nice thing. It's right at the top. Notice when I have a lot of text, I can't see any of the other folders. There's no way to minimize that. Okay. I'm just going to have all of that extra information. It's good if you want to give a lot of description, but again, it's problematic for organizing it because these are a little bit better in terms of how close they are to each other. All right. If I then realize this is a mistake, I can either edit it. Um, in this case, I am just going to delete this folder go back to the other one uh, because I wanted to show you how to move stuff around anyway. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag it up, hold it, dragging it, and I want to drag it all the way to the top. Okay. The other way is you can click this and click move. Uh, and you can move it within a folder, but that's not going to allow me to move it up higher on the list. Okay. So I made this for a um, video. So when you see, you kind of have to be a little nice to it. Now, do you see right here? Let it go. It's now in the folder. Okay, here's another one, test assignment. I'm going to drag it up, hold it so that it's in here. Here means it's outside the folder. Here it's inside the folder. Here's one where I can do this. Move. And I can move this into materials created for videos, and I don't have to do the dragging it around. Okay, that can save some time. And this was another one. I'll move it to created for videos. Click move. Okay, the other one I'm going to show here. Again, I can click, hold it, drag it up. I want to get to the right folder. Okay, open the folder so I can insert it in there. There we go. Okay, so that's how you create a folder and move things around in the folder. Now, if I want to reorder these, I just hold it, drag it, hold it, drag it, and I can move them around so that they appear in the correct order I want them to. 